Jack and in this video I'm going to show you how to build an electric motor. I'm going to talk about how electric motors work and some of the engineering principles in their design. The first thing we need to find is something to use for a rotor. The rotor is the part that spins. In this electric motor we are going to use a wheel from a remote control car. We've cut the axle with a hacksaw and we can remove the rubber tire. The ideal rotor should be a cylinder with a large diameter and a free spin. Ideally the bearing should have very little friction and should spin without any wobble. The for the base we have used a piece of oak that is stained and and varnished. We've drilled a hole that fits tightly to the wheels so that it spins without any wobble. We've screwed rubber bumpers onto the bottom to make feet. We've made an electromagnet by wrapping a steel core with lots of wire. The core of our electromagnet is two and a quarter inches and three eighths in diameter. We've coated the core coil with epoxy to keep it from unwinding. We're going to attach it to the rudder just like this. We're going to mount two permanent magnets on the sides right about here. We're going to use a wooden building block to hold them in place like this. Here are two magnets that we will not be using for this motor, but we're going to demonstrate some magnetic properties. We've put blue tape around the north end of these magnets. Remember that opposites attract and likes repel. These are the magnets we're actually going to be using. They're magnetized in this direction with one face being south and one face being north. We can use this magnet to identify, identify the south face. We, both magnets are pointy, pointed the same direction. We can show that by putting the compass in the middle. To make it clear, we've added some labels. This is copper tape, which is used for keeping slugs out of the garden. We're going to use it for the contacts. We soldered two short wires to the copper tape. We've mounted the electromagnet on the rotor with zip ties. Remember there are two copper contacts. One is connected to one side of the electromagnet and the other is connected to the other wire of the electromagnet. We've added the rotor to the motor. Notice that when we spin it, the core of the electromagnet likes to line up. Notice the gap between the co copper contacts is 90 degrees to the electromagnet. Next we have to add the wires that, that carry the electricity to the contacts. Put the electromagnet on to the rotor with steel wire and more ep epoxy. Remember there are two copper contacts. One is connected to a red wire and the other is connected to a black wire. The electromagnet also has two wires. We're going to connect one to the red wire and one to the black wire. If you put electricity through both contacts, the, electric, the electromagnet will become an, a magnet. If you reverse the electric current going through the magnet, the magnet will also reverse. This piece of wood represents a magnet with a north and south end. If we put it in like this, it would like to turn like this. If we reverse the direction of the magnetism, it will just keep rotating like this. <laughs> The, these wires are called brushes and they're hooked up to alligator clips. There's one on both sides.
Hey, let's hook it up to the power and see what happens. This is the power supply that we made earlier, and we're going to hook the motor up to the 5 volt DC. Okay, here it goes. Woohoo, it works! In this position, the brushes aren't touching the contacts, so let's turn it 90 degrees. It was spinning clockwise. Now let's reverse the direction of the electric current. Now it's turning the other direction. Now let's try it with a higher voltage. Let's use 9 volts. See, it goes a lot faster. Here it is with only 1.5 volts. Let's see if it will go. It needs help starting. And it goes a lot slower. Let's try 3 volts and see what happens. Thanks for watching this video to learn how to make an electric motor.